Now we're going to move on to Glorious Goodwood and what an absolute humdinger of a race we have to get us going in the Sussex Stakes. We've got the best three-year-old in the world, Frankel over a mile, against the best four-year-old over a mile, Camphor Cliffs. How do we separate them in the betting? Well, we can't. We're going 11 to 10. Take your pick. Whoever is the best horse will win on the day. The tactics here are going to be fascinating. Does Tom Queeley try and go for it and burst away like he has done in the Guineas and at Royal Ascot? I don't think so. They've settled him a lot better now. And if you try and burn off Camphor Cliffs, all he will do is sit on the tail, pull outside and go as he did to Goldacova in that marvellous Queen Anne. I have to say I'm a big fan of Camphor Cliffs. Richard Hughes has said he's the best horse that he's ever sat on. That's an unbelievable statement. But he's been proven right so far this year. He's done absolutely nothing wrong. It's going to be a fascinating contest. If you're asking me which one will I go for, I've already said it. I'm going to go for Camford Cliffs, but I just feel Camford can go with any type of horse, and then he has that devastating burst of speed to win what is going to be a fantastic Sussex Stakes. If you're looking at a big price horse to maybe finish in the first three, I would give the Aidan O'Brien train Zoffany a big chance. He put it up to Frankel at Royal Ascot. He was only beaten a very, very short head. He might just finish third up against Dick Turpin, a stablemate of Camford Cliffs, but Camford for me to win the Sussex.